Hi, my name is Kendall Keith, and I'm going to teach you how to do paper marbling. This is an example of the finished paper marbling, but I'm going to walk you through it from the beginning to the end. First up, we need, of course, some shaving cream, a roller, food coloring of your choice, a skewer, but then again, a regular pencil would work. Just try not to color on the thing you're working on. And the star paper. First up, we gotta put cover this whole thing in shaving cream. Don't know how to use this. I totally forgot about the spatula. You gotta flatten it out. I probably need more shaving cream than this, but you gotta flatten it out once you have all the shaving cream that you want. You just gotta keep flattening until you cover all your space and keep flattening until you can't really see this part. I also forgot you kinda also need gloves, but if you don't wanna use them, that's fine. I just don't really wanna dye my hands. So after you're done flattening it out, you just gotta wash off your spatula and start the dyeing process. How you do this part is you pick a few colors of your dye, or all of them. I'm gonna choose some red. And you just gotta do a few drops in a bunch of places. And then you gotta do this to all the other colors you want, and then I'll tune back in whenever I'm done. Green up in here. After you're done with all of your colors, you get your pencil or your skewer and you kind of got to mix them around. But don't mix around too much. You got to make it look cool. So after you're done with your mixing, you gotta get two sheets of paper, depending on how big the pan is, that's how many pieces of paper you can use. So I'm gonna use one right here, and another right there. You gotta set them on there gently. Then you gotta press down kinda hard. Just like press on them. Make sure they get all the color and onto the paper. You kinda wanna let it sit there for a second to get the color in there. Then you wanna peel a side up that's kinda sticking up. Peel it up. Okay, now we're gonna set it down. And this is where we're gonna use the ruler. This is my favorite part. You get to put the ruler on the paper and scrape away all the shaving cream. And this is how it ends up. You can either decide to put the shaving cream back or you can just like throw it away. Okay, we got our second paper. Trust me, it looks even cooler whenever it's dried. Okay, now, time to wipe this shaving cream off. Whoa. Mm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let those dry and if you want, you can flatten it out again, put more food coloring if you want to and continue to make more paper marbling. Okay. The color might look a little different, but that'll make each marbling paper unique from the other. And um, you can add more food coloring or you can just keep going. But I'm gonna add a little bit more. Some blue. Time to swirl. I'm gonna use a pencil this time to show that it can work. I'm gonna give a shout out to Harper's mom uh, for teaching me how to do this, so thank you. Check out my colors. This is a good idea to give gifts to people as they're shut up in their homes. Uh, 
Now it's time to do the same thing all over again with the paper on each side. Now we're peeling them up and putting them down. Remember, you just gotta run the ruler down the paper to get all that shaving cream off. Might take you like a few runs to get all the shaving cream off, but in the end it looks beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of shaving cream on top. Since it's all green, I wanna give it a little bit of white texture in there. To brighten things up. I'm gonna put any more color because it's colorful enough. This time I'm gonna try using cardstock see how this works if you're using cardstock which is optional too you might want to let it soak in a little bit more since cardstock is harder and if you want to use cardboard that is optional too you just gotta let it soak in a, a little while longer than cardstock so this is a test for the cardstock to see if it would actually soak in so let's see if it worked It looks like it's a yes. And this is the final product the day after.